Gravity is one of those films that you really do need to see in theaters. Now, I know that statement comes off as incredibly pretentious of me, but it's true. There are just certain films with an audiovisual component that when watched on a laptop or even in a home theater, lose that certain edge. Like Lawrence of Arabia has excellent shots, but you don't really appreciate them until they're being projected in front of you on a massive screen. And in the case of Gravity, technically this film is doing everything right. Director Alfonso Cuaron and cinematographer Emmanuel Lebesgue really know how to create wonderful, dynamic, beautiful shots. And just like on Children and Men, their previous collaborative effort, Gravity is full of awe-inspiring long takes, ranging from the slow and graceful to the rough and tumble, and all topped off with some glorious and non-invasive CGI in 3D. You really do have to appreciate when a creative team recognizes new technologies as tools to enhance their storytelling rather than just a cheap gimmick. And Lubezki is one of those cinematographers who grows with each film and has a near-perfect track record. And yes, unfortunately, I have to qualify with near-perfect because of Cat in the Hat. No one walked away from that clean. However, the visuals are only part of what make Gravity so damn good. This film is just doing some amazing things in terms of sound editing and sound mixing. While there's no sound in space, we're hearing everything from the perspective of Sandra Bullock's character, Dr. Ryan Stone. Every touch, every breath, every bit of communication over the intercom, everything is this muffled, almost underwater-like quality to it. And we become engaged and empathize in a very unique way. Oh yeah, and while we're talking audio, Gravity has a phenomenal score. Stephen Price is a relative newcomer to the title of composer, but damn if he doesn't know how to make an audience anxious. Driving music, this is not. And he instantly gets bonus points in my book, having also scored Attack the Block, which is just a good time all around. And now that we've discussed audiovisual for a while, I guess we should discuss the plot and characters a bit? Although seriously, all the reasons I've cited thus far should be reason enough for you to want to see Gravity. In terms of that plot, especially considering its setting, the story of Gravity is actually rather small. It's simply a matter of Sandra Bullock's character getting home alive, however encountering every possible possible obstacle along the way. And as far as those obstacles go, this movie really has out of the frying pan into the fire down. Like Sandra Bullock's character must have really upset some karmic gods because the amount of hurdles she has to overcome is insane. Or space is just a murderous vacuum of a bitch. Now to address the writing and performances directly, do I think George Clooney playing Charming was a stretch? No. Did I still enjoy his performance? Yes. Do I think Sandra Bullock's character felt a bit familiar? Yeah, she's mirroring Ripley and Aliens quite a bit with the maternal pangs and everything, but does she do a good job? At the outset I was a little iffy, but soon enough I was on her side and she has a number of great moments. Did I find her yelps and panic breathing a little annoying? A bit, but those repeated no's and cries of desperation so easily could have come off as campy or hammy. And while I felt they were a bit overabundant, they do serve as an emotional tether for us in this film. Is this rapid fire series of questions just a cheap and efficient way to get through points quickly without transitions? Oh, absolutely. But what's so nuts about all this story and character is that they're actually all somewhat secondary to the film's thematic exploration of rebirth. Everything in the film is driving towards this theme, and as far as symbolism goes, gravity's far from subtle in that regard. And yet, despite Despite that, the film doesn't really feel heavy-handed. That's really where gravity excels, in its balancing act of extremes. The setting is vast, but the story is small. Moments of absolute tranquility quickly flip to sheer panic. And while absolutely isolated in a vacuum, the film still feels claustrophobic as Sandra Bullock's breath echoes back to us in her helmet. Quaron and everybody involved was looking to make more than just a space thriller. And this attention to detail in every aspect really shows through, making Gravity a piece of cinema that you absolutely have to see in theaters. Yeah, no matter how I say that, I'm just pretentious. So those are my thoughts on Gravity. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you want, you can check out previous reviews or follow me on any of them social networking sites, be it Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. Links to that in the description below. So comment, click, and keep loving movies, guys. As for me, well, I'm going to upset the karmic gods and try to have myself a gravity-like breakfast.